I'm Richard Roper, and coming right up, James Franco is stuck between a rock and a hard place in 127 hours. My review right now. Aaron Ralston is the hiking, biking, thrill-seeking maniac who got trapped in a canyon in Utah and had to resort to desperate measures to save his own life. It's an inspirational story, but is it a movie? Leave that to Slumdog Millionaire director Danny Boyle. Oh, gosh, it's a real pleasure to be here. Thank you. <laughs> James Franco deserves an Oscar nomination for his portrayal of Aaron Ralston. He's one of those guys who's so confident in his abilities to handle anything in the outdoor world that when he goes on a dangerous hike in Utah, he doesn't even bother to tell anyone exactly where he's gonna be. Hey, Aaron, mom still has not heard from you. Will you just call her, please? I'll talk to you soon. Amber Tamblin and Kate Mara play a couple of amateur hikers who encounter Aaron early into his adventure. They might end up being the last two people he sees on the planet because a few moments later he takes a tumble that goes from serious to desperate, to almost certainly fatal. All you have to remember is that everything will be okay. <laughs> Oops. At that point, 127 hours almost becomes like a hardcore version of It's a Wonderful Life. Aaron falls asleep, he has hallucinations. As he's considering various ways in which he can save himself, he finally starts to realize that the most important things in life, the most important people in his life, are things he never really appreciated until this moment. Mom, Dad, I haven't appreciated you because I know that I could. I love you guys, and I'll always be with you. 127 hours gets very gruesome and intense. You might find yourself looking away from the screen at certain moments. But eventually and ultimately, this becomes a story about a man who finally comes to embrace life because he almost dies. It's one of the best movies of the year. I give it an A. I'm Richard Roper. You can get all my reviews at richardroper.com.